Here's a big surprise. Sears stores closing. Who would have guessed that? Sears and Kmart. 79 of them. When they first merged, I said, man, Kmart was reasonable price, but they were still high. But once Sears that merged, I don't know if you guys shot the Kmart later, but everything went through the roof prices. What a horrible time to start gouging prices. I mean, gas. <coughs> But, I mean, as far as product, food, <coughs> I guess uh, <laughs> everybody's gouging prices. But Kmart gouging prices on things I think would just, I guess they're not going anywhere with this because everyone's gouging prices that are unnecessary. But, uh, yeah, big surprise, Sears is closing their stores. I'm not going to be affected by it, frankly, too much because I don't know anybody I know that works at Sears. I don't shop at Sears or at Kmart. I used to, so I used to really buy a lot of Craftsman stuff. But sadly, I've been having so many problems with my Craftsman tools lately. Like, my old stuff, I could run over with a bulldozer when I heard it. New stuff, I've been snapping wrenches, snapping ratchets like they were nothing. I don't know what the quality has gone in it, but that was, that was one of the main things. That and die hair batteries is the things that I used to shop for, you know, at Sears for. Sometimes clothes. I haven't, the quality has, to me, went down very far. The prices went up, the quality has gone down. And, I mean, it's sad to see any company go under, but I, I predicted this one. I knew there was a close these stores down. I mean, I know Kmart is going bankruptcy and, you know, Sears tried to pull them out. But the way they pulled them out wasn't the right way to do it. They should have just kept them the way they were. And kept it maybe like, you know, Kmart would have been their lower end store. Not try to make Sears and Kmart equal. Because, you know, frankly, you know, when you tease, we got teased as a kid. Oh, you got Kmart clothes on. You used to tease because it, it was a cheap store to go to. Keep it that way. Poor people like stores like that because we kill Ford stuff. That's where they went wrong, I think. You know, probably also greedy people. In the picture, that happens to most businesses. People get greedy, people get selfish, and they take more than they need. Kind of like America, period. But, you know, corporate America, there we go. Take more than what you need and screw everybody else. In the long run, screw yourself. As we can see, with 79 stores closing, I'm sure that's going to be a pretty big loss for the company. Not a huge loss, but, you know, anyone losing 79 stores, that's... It's got to be a kick in the butt. Um, maybe it'll waken up some corporations or some companies and stuff, you know, like Sears or Buck. Maybe go, well, wow, maybe we should have thought things through differently <sighs> or not. Um, just want to get that out there, saw it. You know, I don't usually do news. I don't usually do, you know, stocks or anything like that. But... Sears is something that I was, you know, I discussed years ago and Kmart years ago with friends, family, and amongst myself. So I decided it was something that was relevant to me, and I, my prediction was right. It took a little bit longer than I thought, but, you know, it's happening. So there's another Spare the Moment video for you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.